Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the default WooCommerce thank you page using Elementor Pro plugin. After making a purchase on your WooCommerce website, the customer will be redirected to the default thank you page in a WooCommerce website. And the default thank you page is pretty basic. It has a white background. And on that page, you have the details of the order, shipping and billing information, and nothing more than that. So I'll show you how you can customize the default thank you page and you can add your own elements on the thank you page just like this let me show you an example of the thank you page that i have created in this video at the top we have the header and on the header we have some content and this is the default thank you message below that we have order details then we have bank details currently i'm using cash on delivery so it shows only cash on delivery as a bank details if you have any other payment method it will show that here if you are using downloadable products then it will also add download section on the thank you page where it will put the links to download the products from your website that is for the downloadable products below that we have order details billing details and shipping details i have customized this page and i have used the background image i have used some parallax effect i have changed the section color as well as i have changed the font color you can also customize the font you can change the font color as well as the size of the font below that i have added a new section where some products will be shown here you can see that i have added eight products you can add more sections and you can show different elements on the thank you page if you have any offer that you want to show on the thank you page you can add that also so let's see how we can customize the default thank you page in a woocommerce website using elementor and elementor pro plugin do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos so here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. This is a demo website which I have created using the Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. I have already published a detailed video on how to create an e-commerce website using WooCommerce, Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. This is the video. You will see that this video is more than eight hours long video. In this video, you will see how you can create an e-commerce website from the scratch. Which plugins do you need and how you can customize the e-commerce website? website using Elementor Pro plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now let's go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Let me show you the plugins that I have on this website. So these are the plugins I have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. And I also have WooCommerce plugin installed on this website. Now we are going to customize the thank you page. Now before that, let me show you the default thank you page of the WooCommerce website. Let's go to the shop page and let's add one of the products in the cart. Let's add this product to the cart and let's go to cart. So we have one product in the cart. Let's go to proceed to checkout. Let me place an order. This is a test order and I'm using cash on delivery for this order. Let's click on place order. And this is the default thank you page or you can say the purchase summary page. After completing the payment, the customer will be redirected to this page. On this page, we have this header section. Then we have a content here. Thank you for shopping with us. Your account has been charged and your transaction is successful. And this is the order summary. This is the summary of the payment. These are the payment details, the order number, Date, email then we have the order details billing and shipping address now here you can see that this page has a white background and you cannot customize and there is no option to customize this page okay if I go to edit with Elementor it will go basically to the checkout page and you can customize the checkout page but we cannot customize the thank you page so let's go to the pages and we are going to create a new page here you will see the list of pages I'm going to add a new page here and let's name it as thank you Okay, I'm going to use the template as Elementor full width and I'm going to publish it. Okay, let's go to edit with Elementor. All right, so this is a new page. Thank you page. Now here we are going to add the content for the thank you page. Let's add a new section here and let's make it like a header section. Now I'm just trying to show you how you can customize it. You can customize according to your requirement. I'm going to add heading here and let's name it as thank and let's add the heading here. Thank you for shopping with us. Uh, let's center align it let's change the color and let's center align it you can customize it let me add another section here 
now here in this section if you want to promote products or if you want to add any other element you can add it now i'm going to add purchase summary element that is the woocommerce element which will show the details of the order so click on the plus sign and search for purchase and you will see purchase summary option here drag it and drop it here all right so now you will see the same structure that we saw on the default thank you page now you can customize this entire section let's click on this and if you want to change the background color you can change the background color or you can also add background image let's add background image here all right so here you will see a faded background okay so we have customized the background you can change it to any color if you want only the color you can use the color also let me show you let's try a background overlay of black color and we are going to change the size we are going to change the text color to white let's go to typography and heading color will be white everything will be white here okay now this is the purchase summary now for the purchase summary also you can change the color settings currently we have this background color you can change like this okay now let's go to box shadow or let's go to typography and for this typography i'm going to use white color now this is the order details section and below that we have billing details and these are the bank details let's go to order details okay you will see the change in the color so basically i'm just trying to make everything white because we have a black background there let's go to payment details that is also done these are the sections so we have order details billing details and shopping details and shipping details now this is how it is going to look you will see an image is added in the background and we have changed the color of the text here now let's see what else we can do here now uh, we have content here let's go to content we have thank you your order has been received now if you want to customize this you can customize this way you can change this content let's say i want to add the name of the user and for that i'm going to use dynamic tab that will be if i go to woocommerce for that you can go to site user info and from user info you, you can use the first name or the last name of the user so i'm going to select first name and go to advance before first name that will be like thank you and after that comma so it will show thank you then the username and after we can add exclamation mark and fallback will be simple text thank you for shopping with us this is the fallback if there is no username if the customer has not created an account on your website it will fall back to this content okay now payment details so this is for the payment details order number order date order email order total if you want to customize it you can customize it if you want to let's say payment method instead of payment method let's let's add s and you will see change here i just want to show you how does this look you will see s is added here okay now this is the confirmation message if you do not want to show the confirmation message you can disable it from here okay now if i go to style settings and for the typography i can change the size you will see change here so you can change the size of this confirmation message from here let's make it 30 okay so this is how it will look now if i go to sections here we do not have any border so i'm going to add a border here let's add one pixel border and color will be white so this is one pixel white color and border radius okay this is the spacing between these sections you can change the spacing from here all right let's go to preview settings here and it is going to give you the latest order preview settings okay now we are back to this content payment details under payment details we have these options then we have bank details so these are the bank details currently we are using pay with cash on delivery so it's not going to show any bank details here if you are using downloadable products it will show the details of the downloads it will basically put the download links on this thank you page if you are selling a downloadable product then it will show the download links on this thank you page currently it is a simple product so it's not going to show here purchase summary this is is the purchase summary it will show the details of the order then billing details shipping details so these are the billing and shipping details okay below that if you want you can also add another section and there you can promote your products on the thank you page let's say i want to add some other products here so i'm going to use products let's add let's search for product okay so it is going to show let's make it four into two so it will show eight products style then you can customize this one and you can change the style settings for this layout. 
So this is the thank you page that we have created. Now let's save this page. Let's make update it. Now it is going to ask you, do you want to save this as your purchase summary page? That is nothing but the thank you page. It is going to replace the default thank you page with this new layout. So here you can click on save and now this page will be used as the thank you page. If you want to see, let's go to this icon and go to site settings and scroll down and go to WooCommerce and it will show you the list of pages that are the default WooCommerce pages and for the purchase summary we have used thank you page so now onwards this is going to be your thank you page let's go to the website and we will see if that works let's add this product to the cart and let's go to cart again proceed to checkout and i'm going to make a purchase i'm going to use the same cash on delivery click on place order and now you will see the new thank you page is there so we have this header then we have customized this one then we have the order details and cash on delivery then billing and shipping details below that we have these products showing on the page so you can add your own elements on the thank you page and if you have any other offer then you can show that on the thank you page also so this is how you can customize the default thank you page in a woocommerce website using elementor pro plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.